Yeah, yo, what's going on, you guys? You're Devon Toro in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make your vocals sound more stereo. I'm gonna show you two very, very simple techniques that uh, you should probably be using in your mixes to get a more stereo sounding vocal if that is what you're stylistically looking for. Let's get right to it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play you this vocal, just the raw vocal of what it is as far as uh, with no effects on it and so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. So check this out. I can see you on the way, yeah. Taking pictures and you feeling great, yeah. You acting different when you in LA. Cool, now let's hear that vocal in context with the music. Listen closely. I can see you on the way, yeah. Taking pictures and you feeling great, yeah. Okay, cool. That's the vocal for the most part. It's very dry. Uh, there's no effects on it. Now, say for instance, you're saying to yourself, man, I really would like to open that vocal up. I'd like to make it sound more wide. And this is going to go for hip hop, R&B, any style of music that you're looking for to make your vocal feel a little bit more wider in a more natural way, not in an unnatural way, but in a more natural way. The first technique I'm going to show you guys is this it's going to be a plate verb. Now, before we go any further, I'm gonna ask you guys to comment, like, subscribe to this video to keep this channel going. Uh, make sure you can also visit helpmedevon.info at any time during this video to get some of our presets, vocal chains, templates, everything, a lot of dope goodies for a bunch of different DAWs to keep this channel going. Now, back to what I was saying. Plate verbs are the first thing that I'm going to suggest you guys to get a more stereo vocal. Now, I know what you're saying. I don't want to put a reverb on my vocal. I'm a rapper. Wrong. A lot of these rap vocals have plate verbs on them. And I'm going to show you how subtle a plate verb is, but it does such a big difference in placing the vocal in a better space. Check this out. So let's solo the vocal by itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over here to my short verb, which is running to a plate verb that I have here. Now this is the plate verb that I'm using. Do not get intimidated by the specific plate verb that I'm using, but just know when it comes to plate verbs, a lot of times there's plate verb settings in your reverbs that you already have. So you can go to a pre-filled preset that you already have in one of your DAWs and just click a plate verb, uh, a vox plate, a vocal plate, try one of them. In principle, what the, vote, what the uh, plate actually is, is a very short reverb time. As you can see, this one is 0.7 of a second. So it's not even a second long. This plate verb is literally 0.7 of a second, and this pre-delay I have around 36. Now, what the plate verb is is a very, very short uh, reverb, and basically, you barely notice it. It just kind of adds more signal to the stereo image as opposed to anything else. You'll notice it. Check this out. I'm gonna bypass it back and forth. I can see you on the way, yeah. Taking pictures and you feeling great, yeah. You acting different when you in LA, yeah. You in a mood or you feeling great, yeah. Okay, now I know what you're saying. Well, oh, I hear it. It feels like it's like in this like small little chamber or hallway. Well, listen to what it does inside the music. I'm gonna bypass it back and forth with the music. Check this out. Let's put this here. I can see you on the way, yeah. Taking pictures and you feeling great, yeah. You acting different when you in LA, yeah. You in a mood or you feeling great, yeah. Girl, I see you travel different, yeah. When you not home, oh, I can see the difference. So there's this flatness to it, and you have to listen very close because I don't have it cranked and exaggerated, but there's this very, very flat feeling when it's not there. Check this out. What I'll do right now is I'll exaggerate the short verb or plate verb a little bit more so you can really hear what it can do. So I'll crank it up here. Now watch this without first. I can see you on the way, yeah. Taking pictures and you feeling great, yeah. You acting different when you in the lay. So when I engage it, I hear it. I feel like it kind of like expands and opened up. If you're listening to headphones, then great. If you're listening to a studio monitor, it's great. If you're listening to a cell phone, you might not notice it. If you do notice it, then you know. If you're listening on your phone and you hear the difference, then you know this thing is making a big difference, but it's so subtle. And a lot of people think this isn't on rap vocals, but my friend, a lot of rap vocals utilize plate verse because it's a subtle way to give you more stereo width out of a lead or mono signal without actually causing any phasing issues. So this is really dope to do 
Play verbs can change everything for you. They're very short verbs. I'm telling you now, it does. you won't even realize they're there until they're there. And then you feel how it just kind of opens up the stereo image of your lead vocal or whatever your mono signal is. Okay. Next thing we're going to move on over to, and this is the last technique that I'm going to show you, is using a doubler plugin. Okay. Now, what is a doubler plugin? Long story short, uh, its name basically says it all. It's a plugin that creates a double of something or a duplicate in a sense, but it does it in a very unique way. Now, you can't just take a vocal, right? Duplicate it and call that a doubler. Uh, basically, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be introducing a lot of phase issues uh, by doing this. You gotta understand, when you're using a doubler plugin, what it, what it usually does is it it deviates the timing between the original signal and the other vocal, which helps to counteract that phasing issue that you would get if you just put it right underneath it. So by variations of time between the actual original signal and the actual vocal or whatever the signal is, it creates a, a more stereo or a better feeling as far as the double is concerned. Now, how do we apply this to give us some more stereo width or make the, the lead or whatever um, the vocal sound more stereo? What I like to do is I used to like to use this very basic doubler from Waze, which tells you you could probably use any doubler, right? And I'll leave the description for this plugin in the bio. And basically what I like to do is I like to take this setting, the basic doubler setting, and I also like to boost the high end. Now what this doubler is gonna do is it's gonna take a copy and push it to the left and to the right. There's also gonna be a direct signal that's gonna be up the middle. Don't concern yourself, you'll be fine. Now the signal on the left is going to be delayed by 9.4 and the signal on the right is gonna be delayed by 23.7 to help us with phase, to make sure that we don't have any issues. So it's gonna take a copy of my lead vocal signal and create two copies and hit them to the sides, okay? So that's basically what it's doing to the image. It's taking a copy of that vocal that I'm sending it and creating a side uh, as far as uh, two other vocals on the sides. Now. I'm gonna solo this by itself and give you an idea of what it sounds like. One sec. Yes, okay, so this is what it sounds like by itself. I'm gonna crank it. I can see you on the way, yeah. Taking pictures and you feeling great, yeah. You acting different when you in LA, yeah. You in a mood or you feeling great, yeah. Girl, I see you travel different, yeah. So you can hear that, you hear that whiff, and that's a big difference. You hear that whiff just get wide, um, and, and it's really, really powerful. And what helps with this is, we're also in the doubler, we're boosting the high end of those double vocals. And usually when it comes to high end, uh, things feel more open, things feel brighter. So on the double vocals that are there, I'm boosting the high end so I can get an even more uh, dramatic effect as far as the high end is concerned. What I'm also doing and not showing you is this as well. Underneath the doubler plugin, I'm putting an S1 imager or a stereo widener plugin to widen that uh, signal as well. So those two double vocals that are on the sides, I'm widening them even more to get a more wider sound. So basically, I'm gonna play this for you within the mix. Check this out. I'm gonna take it and bypass it back and forth. Let's take this off. Let's put this here and check this out. With and without in the mix. Without first. I can see you on the way. Yeah. Taking pictures and you feeling great. Yeah. You acting different when you in LA. Yeah. You in a mood or you feeling great. Yeah. Girl, I see you travel different. Yeah. When you not home, oh, I can see the difference. Huge different, no pun intended. There's a huge difference there with this width of the vocal. And this is super powerful, super important if you're trying to uh, create those really wide style of vocals without causing phasing issues and those types of things. Now, granted, check your phase. Make sure that when you do these types of things and play with stereo width that you do check your phase. But like I told you, don't just duplicate a vocal, slap it underneath and basically just consider that a double or make it feel like it's wider. You gotta be really careful when it comes to these things and you should deviate the time. Um, that's very important when it comes to this to avoid phase cancellation or anything of 
that nature. So that was my really quick tutorial on basically how to make vocals sound more stereo. Again, make sure you comment, like, subscribe on this video. Make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on the Instagram and make sure please that you guys visit helpmedevon.info for a lot of our templates, vocal chains, presets, all kinds of goodies for all DAWs, as well as making sure that um, you guys come and join our Discord community with a lot of aspiring engineers and artists just like yourself. So I hope that was helpful and until next time, you guys.